Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and my not so very challenge, but we shall do something a little different this time. I'm gonna go through a little bit of our family tree, which is absolutely massive and it just keeps on going. So our first generation was with Maeve and she married Akira. The only Akira Kibo and they were both jealous sims if I remember right and it was absolutely hilarious. It's just a shame that I was so awkward person back then when I started recording that this season itself is just disaster but I had so much fun with her. She was such an awesome sim to start with actually. Uh, we continued Legacy with Roman and you can continue to watch this uh, I have all the playlists of all the seasons on my channel, so you can just pick whatever. But I'm gonna look at the other side that I haven't played with, which are not the sims that I know anything really about. Things just have happened here, and I do not know what it is exactly. So Pearl gave birth to Vivian and Joel. And she was with Parker Hayes, who apparently had a mum that we know of, but a dad who has been lost in some history books of time. Uh, she died away after Roman, I think, or did Roman pass away before her? I don't remember actually now that I think of it, but I'm pretty sure she was really like old. She aged death by old age. Yeah, I was like, oh, she didn't die of an ele electrocution or anything like that. So yeah, then the Vivienne gave birth to two kids, Dominic and Tatiana. And it seems that Dominic didn't continue the family tree in any way, but Tatiana did. Tatiana was Vivian and Gideon's daughter. And I think we saw Gideon sometime along... I think it was a generation... I think it was something with Lexi. We met Gideon a few times. I'm not sure anymore, but I have a feeling. And Dominic it didn't continue the family, but Tatiana had two daughters, Jessie and Haley. And their dad was Peter Rowland, and he apparently had some family connections as well that we did not know about. Mackenzie Addison and Jonathan Addison. Okay. I do not know who they are. This is quite interesting. These are really weird. I, I kind of like it how it's showing these, but I think they could have done a better job with this um, family tree situation that's here. And apparently Haley's daughter, Bailey... And son Cecil are still alive, but they're elders, as far as I know. At least looking at Bailey, I assume that she's an elder. So I'm just gonna assume that this Prince Charming is gonna be elder too. So I don't think they're gonna be continuing the their side of the family tree that far. And Jesse had a son, Roland, and apparently... His father, I'm gonna assume he's a vampire because he's still young and she has passed away. So that, that's the only only possibility that I have in mind right now for him. Wow, that's rude. Overlive your own family. Rude. Uh, so these were... Oh. Louis Hartley and Haley. Like, Haley actually went for a man who has other kids. Half-brother, half-sister... Are these all Eggleston Santana? Oh wow, okay. Okay, wow, oh, wow. This is what um, MCC is doing really interesting for me. Okay, so uh, our... <laughs> I don't even know what these are anymore. But like... Uh... Jesus, okay, this is really complicated. I don't know what the right terms are for these. But then Jade gave birth to four, one of them being Prince, who is married to our Amber, who is Adam's mum. Wow. Okay. If 
but Jade was married to Chad, but was was Prince Chad's son, yes. And Prince still has brothers alive, and they are married. Some of them are married. Hannah Hansen. Okay, let's see. So Paul was a, a London. Okay. Wow. Okay. Th this is really like shocking. I I'm so speechless right now. I'm just looking at it like, wow. Okay then. This is uh uh huh. Okay. I didn't know what to say about that. That's uh quite uh something, right? Okay. So none of these guys are continuing the legacy as far as we are aware. So we need to go back to Pearl because we were looking at Vivian's side. Now we need to hop on to Joel. Okay. And then he had two kids, uh, Deidre and William. And William, William had two, Valen and Sierra. And he was married to Isabel. And none of... Um, she didn't continue the legacy, but he did. Valen did. Uh, he has Alberto and Blanca. Blanca? Bianca? Blanca. With Riley Gibson. Uh, Riley has some family tree going on as well. I'm not... Maida? Maida, yeah. I don't know that side of the family really that well. Okay, then let's hop back to Joel and we go on Deirdre's side where she had Greg and Malcolm and Malcolm continued the legacy and he apparently has three kids still and Navai, Nav Navai? Mm, someone from Island Living from Sulani married Malcolm, and they have triplets, it looks like, and he has already passed away from old age. So, I'm sorry, kids, you had such a poor, poor chance there. <laughs> like, oh, wow. Okay, well, I think we saw all of them. Yeah, yeah, we did. That that, that was really interesting, this side. Wow. Like, with uh, Haley. So, that was interesting side going on in there, going into the Santana and Prince was interesting circle around so from roman he got kidnapped by aliens and he had bok he had ali and stella as uh, triplets and he was meant to be only having one kid harrison with um who was the mom Shayna. But uh, the faith decided otherwise and he got kidnapped and he had to give birth to triplet alien babies and they were a handful. They were seriously a handful and let's take a look at if they gave birth. Oh my goodness, the senior Polynesian technician number three is still alive. Wow. <laughs> That's interesting. Uh, Spock had three kids, uh, Ava, Donald and Cassandra. And Cassandra has had a lineage going on in here. So Kent, Rebecca, half sits with, okay, Lisette, and Brenna. Okay, interesting. All right. That's, hmm, okay. That, that was quite straightforward. There was nothing in that big of a deal in there. Uh, that was from Spock. He got with Deja. I remember Deja, actually, now that I think of it. Yeah. Uh, from Ali. Ali didn't have any kids. Did Stella. Stella didn't have any kids either. Okay. So then we go down to Harrison, who was our third generation Sim the Yellow. And I loved him. I loved him so much. And he had two daughters, Lexi and Sage. And... He was married to the most awesome woman in the whole game, Neve. 
Neve was one of those sims that I've seen ever but get to sleep. Sniffing them with the fresh clothes, like there were so many awesome things that she was doing. She was just a natural mom. It was so perfect. I loved her so much and I was so devastated when she passed away. Uh, Lexi then continued the legacy for us, but I'm pretty sure that Sage had two daughters. Yes, but they were adopted daughters. She had a girlfriend. I don't think they ever got married. Let me actually see on the other screen if I can find it on the... Plum tree app, what her girlfriend was called. So it was Christy Aki. Yeah, if you remember the uh, black haired, sleek looking little Asian uh, heritage girl, that was her. Yeah. And both of these adopted daughters have had a child, Jacqueline. Wait, Etta. And then Penelope K birth to Duncan. I assume gave birth. I do not actually know their family history at all. I do not know what's going on in there. And then we continued the legacy with Lexi and we are starting to get closer to our current situation, what's going on with our let's play. So then we had Heaven, who was meant to continue the legacy at first. Because she was she was a decent looking girl. Like she was actually pretty pretty girl. Uh I think was it was it Heaven? Then it was James. I don't remember it, which one was older. They they were born quite close to each other. I don't remember now out of my head which one was older. But nevertheless, Heaven caught two children. And she was married to Clayton. Clayton Goth. And I do not know if they he is actually related to actual Goth. No, I don't think they he is. I do not know how he become a Goth though. Oh, Angela. It's a shame that the family tree just doesn't go all the way, you know. It's really tough. I would have loved to be part related to Goth. <laughs> but yes, uh, Clayton and Heaven had two kids. Uh, Joey, who has Nancy and Vivek. And they are still alive and he was mar he is married to Paula. And Paula is just Paula. Paula doesn't have family. That's great. And none, none of these have had kids yet, so that's okay. And then it seems that Beverly hasn't had any kids either. She doesn't seem to be married, nothing going on in there. And then James. James was married, it seems. He was with Claudia. Oh yeah, yeah, we moved her, her and him into that small trailer home in Winterberg. Do you remember? I hope you do. I hope you have stayed with me that long. And then they they had two kids. Apparently Ivy is still alive, but uh, Thomas has already passed away. And it doesn't seem like they're continuing the legacy in any way. Then Alice was our plum sim. She was a plum sim. Yeah, that was it. And this is where things get a little more recent. And we continued the legacy with Amber. And you can see that she is married to Prince, which was the uh, circle round on the other side of the family tree, which was really interesting. And here's Phoenix, who has a daughter, Valerie, with Stephanie. And Stephanie is not someone I know. She's apparently recent sim to be added to this save. I do not know anything about her. But uh, Valerie is quite intriguing looking girl, I'm not gonna lie. Like, she, she has a mother's look. I'm pretty... <laughs> sure about that. Then we have Poppy, and Poppy has nothing going on with her life right now. Like she, she's just, um, she's just there. I think I need to do something about that. I think I need to get her married or something off because it, I would love her to continue the legacy as well. She's so beautiful. Same. Uh, then we continue with Amber, who was the evil genius, who is now an oracle, and she and Prince had two kids. Rosa and our current heir Adam and apparently Rosa has been sleeping around but there's no no sign of a dad so I do not know if maybe she just doesn't know who the dad of Phoebe is I do not know it's quite interesting but uh, I don't think Prince has any other children no he hasn't been sleeping around so this is where we go around to other side of Gibson family in somewhere. Oh yeah, there. 
Silverman. That that's um Santana. Yeah, we are going to circle around if we just follow this side, I think. Yeah, Gibsons are here, so it's <laughs> <laughs> it's really weird. Oh my god, just look at that. That's just... Mm. Oh, mama. I, I don't even know what to say about that. That's just really weird. Wow. I love to look at these things. I don't know if this was really um, lame video for you, but I love looking at back because I am a generous 7, guys. And I have only played once a hundred baby challenge where I reached like uh, generation five or something. It took me five uh, five sims to get to the hundred babies, and this was before the toddlers were in game. So I didn't need to handle that toddler situation, and I refuse to do that. I really do. I mm -mm. wow. But if you do have any ideas for what legacy I should or a legacy challenge I should do next. I really hope you would give me some feedback, some ideas, what you might find enjoyable to watch. Especially now that the university back is coming up, so we could start with that. I don't know, just an idea. Uh, but yeah, throw me comments, ideas down below. And I thank you for joining me today. Um, we are just here. We are going to continue to Generation 8, actually, because Christina is eating for two. So that's going to be exciting and that's going to be awesome. And I just can't wait for the most beautiful baby to be delivered into this game safe. So that, that's just going to be something so awesome. But I thank you again for joining me today. I hope... This was a okay episode, or at least on any way interest speaking. And happy simming. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.